this is where I'm going to say that there's actually a difference between, between Christianity and Stoicism, right? Is that um, this is a determinist view of the world. That is, if the if the world is animated by a, by a rational mind, right, by this rational mind that just says, you know, this thing happens and this thing happens next, right? And, and the whole thing is linked in this giant unbroken chain of causation, and there's nothing outside of that, right? Remember, God does not extend beyond the cosmos; He's just in the whole cosmos, right? So, if there's nothing outside of cause and effect, um, then our own actions are themselves kind of looped into this this giant web of just this happens and then this happens and this happens. Now, the Stoics don't really want to accept this. They don't want, uh, you know, free will to be taken out of the world because they want to be able to praise and blame things, say certain ways of behaving are good and certain ways are bad. And so they kind of try to um, square this circle. And we, we're sort of told by Cicero, for example, in On Fate, that they, they have this idea that, you know, what, what good and bad are is they are behaving in ways that are sort of um, antithetical to your nature if it's bad or that go with your nature if it's if it's good. So the, the metaphor that is used sometimes is like, a, so let's imagine that a cylinder gets pushed down a hill, right? The cylinder rolls. But why does it roll? Well, because it's, its nature is to roll, right? It's, it's round. It's a certain kind of thing that behaves in a certain kind of way. And for humans, because we are rational beings, you can kind of like praise and blame people for behaving in certain ways, even if there's no version of the universe in which they behaved otherwise. Now, to me, this is a point at which things break down because they have this kind of wrinkle, right, in their, their cosmology, which doesn't posit any god beyond the world, um, as in fact many modern cosmologies do not, right? Um, and and their, like, the way that they want to behave, which is, which is quite noble, right? Of course, it's very admirable and noble. Um, and ultimately, I think, my argument here against Stoicism as a total philosophy is, is simply that it doesn't quite make room for the whole reality of things. <laughs>